Hi everyone, this is Tony from Sock Studios and today we're going to go ahead and tackle the tutorial I promised you on Captain America's shield. It is kind of a lengthy tutorial so I may have to split it up into a couple parts because YouTube only allows 15 minute videos since I'm not a partner. But we're just going to kind of jump right into it and here we go. So we're going to start off by creating a new document and I'm gonna go with 1600 pixels by 1600 pixels with a resolution of 72 alright so now that we've got our document made let's go ahead and fill that document with black so we're gonna grab make sure our black palette is selected paint bucket tool fill it in now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and click over here on our tools palette to get the ellipse tool. All right, and then we're going to just hold shift and click and we're just going to drag out a circle. Just like that. Okay. All right, and then we're going to go over here and right click on the layer and rasterize the layer. Alright, so let's go over here to our color palette and we're going to go ahead and choose our red color. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and go with D51A37. That's a pretty good range. You can even go a little deeper if you like. Alright, so we're going to grab that, that bucket and we're going to fill that. Okay so now we need to center our circle with the background so make sure you have your shape highlighted and hold control and click the background and you'll see how they both become selected come up here and click the move tool and that will let you choose the horizontal and vertical alignment just like that okay alright so now we're gonna go ahead and duplicate this layer just like that okay and we're gonna switch to white and we're gonna fill the layer with white alright now we're gonna go up to filter and add some noise so we're just gonna go to add noise and you want the amount to be set to 150 Gaussian and make sure monochromatic is checked go ahead and click OK now we need to add a radial blur so we'll just go to blur come down to radial blur we want to make sure the amount is set to 40 the blur method is spin and the quality is set to best go ahead and click OK alright so now you can kinda of see we have this brushed metal look and that's actually what we're looking for so now with our gray brush metal layer selected go ahead and change the blend mode to darken and you'll see why we're doing that see so now you see the red and now it looks like red brushed metal and that's the look we're going for alright so now we actually need to make another circle because as you know the shield is red white and blue so I would recommend let's go ahead and hold control and click the shape here All right, and you see our circle is there alright so I'm just going to go ahead and click up here on the shape the gray shape and then I'm going to make a new layer and since we have it selected I'm just going to go ahead and fill it with white and again we'll go to filter add noise same values as before go back to filter blur radial blur okay and now we have our gray so at this point I would recommend that 
we go ahead and deselect so control D okay we're going to turn on our transform controls hold shift and we're just going to drag this down and you may have to play with it to get the size right but essentially what we'd like to do is line it with the circle that's there because the shield has several layers so we're going to click the gray layer we just made hold control and click shape one the red circle go up here to our alignment and see how that puts it right in the middle for us now in this case I'd like to make it just a little smaller so let's do that and again click the layer control shape and then we can get it right in the middle just the way we like it and that looks really good okay so now I would recommend let's go ahead and click our shape one red and our shape one copy that we have and let's go ahead and duplicate those layers alright now let's merge them and drag them to the top. All right. Now let's bring open our transform controls again. We're going to hold shift and we're going to drag it down. Just like before. All right. So as we can see, we have to come down quite a bit more. So let's try that. Maybe just a hair more, okay. All right. Here, click this and our our new top layer and control and our bottom layer. So we want that alignment just like before. Okay. There we go. Got a nice alignment going on. And I'm actually even going to go ahead and make it just a little bit smaller. This is a big tutorial, so there's some trial and error involved. So as before, we're going to go ahead and align it. Okay, that looks good. Alright, so now we're ready for our blue layer. So I'm going to go ahead and control click here to get the marquee selected. I'm going to make a new layer, and I'm going to choose a blue color in this case 0A3FAC hit OK go to my paint bucket tool and I'm going to fill the layer alright now I'm going to make a new layer above that go ahead and choose white and by now you're pretty much getting the gist of the process filter noise add noise After we fill, let's see if we fill the white. So white, and then filter, noise, add noise, okay, and then blur and radio blur. I'm starting to go cross-eyed from doing this so many times, but that's okay. So now we're going to change the mode for this one to overlay. See how that gets us our blue swirl and that's what we're after so let's go ahead and merge these two layers All right now we're going to select our move tool turn on our transformation controls and we're gonna go ahead and shrink it down alright again top layer click hold control that bottom layer and we're going to get it in as close as possible so that's good but not quite so we need to shrink it a little bit more okay and again same process there we go and now we see it's kinda of starting to come to life which is what we're trying to accomplish here so here we go we're gonna go ahead and move on to the star we're ready for our star so 
we're going to go ahead and open that and I'll provide the links to all these textures and things in the description for you and open that up we're just going to select the star copy it control C or go up to edit and copy let's go back to our window we were working with and go ahead and paste make sure the top layer is selected and paste and there's our star alright so we just need to make a few adjustments to the star because it needs to go right to the edge of the blue alright we'll just bring this up just a little bit okay and that looks pretty good so now we actually need to blur the star too so what we're going to do is we're going to control click the star to highlight it create a new layer and we're going to fill it with white and again just like before probably now for the hundredth time we're going to add that noise okay we're going to filter and we're going to blur and we're going to radio blur and okay now I prefer to bring the opacity down a little bit so it doesn't look quite so cheesy right about there looks good I think alright so so far we've got a really nice looking star we've got the general shape of what we're going to do and I'm going to end part one of this tutorial here and part two will be coming up very shortly so stay tuned and thanks for tuning in